Fiberglass is a common type of fiber reinforced plastic which uses glass fiber. The fibers may be randomly arranged, flattened into a sheet, or woven into a fabric. Cheaper and more flexible than carbon fiber, it is stronger than many metals by weight, is non-magnetic, non-conductive, transparent to electromagnetic radiation, can be molded into complex shapes, and is chemically inert in most circumstances. An individual structural glass fiber is both stiff and strong in tension and compression, that is, along its axis. On the other hand, the glass fiber is weak in shear, which means across its axis. By laying multiple layers of fiber on top of one another, with each layer oriented in various preferred directions, the material's overall stiffness and strength can be efficiently controlled. A fiberglass component is typically of a thin shell construction, sometimes filled on the inside with structural foam, as is the case with surfboards. The component may be any shape, limited only by the complexity and tolerances of the mold used for manufacturing the shell. Unlike glass fibers used for insulation, for the final structure to be strong, the fibers' surfaces must be almost entirely free of defects, as this permits the fibers to reach gigapascal tensile strengths. If a bulk piece of glass were defect-free, it would be equally as strong as glass fibers. However, it is generally impractical to produce and maintain bulk material in a defect-free state outside of laboratory conditions. The manufacturing process for glass fibers uses large furnaces to gradually melt down silica sand and other minerals until all are liquid forms. It is then extruded through bushings, which are bundles of very small orifices. These filaments are then coated with a chemical solution. The individual filaments are now bundled in large numbers to provide a roving. The roving is then either used in filament winding, which produces pipe, in gun roving, where an automated gun chops the glass into short lengths and drops them into a jet of resin, or the rovings are used to manufacture fabrics. Glass fabrics include chopped strand mat, or CSM, woven fabrics, knit fabrics, or unidirectional fabrics. The roving can also go directly into the pultrusion process, or can be added to this process after first being made into a fabric, or any of the others I just mentioned. Pultrusion is a manufacturing process for converting reinforced fibers and liquid resin into a fiber-reinforced plastic, also known as fiber-reinforced polymer. Fiberglass is an immensely versatile material due to its light weight, inherent strength, weather-resistant finish, and variety of surface textures. It is often used in protective equipment such as helmets. Other applications include aircrafts, boats, automobiles, swimming pools, orthopedic casts, and surfboards to name a few. Glass fibers have been produced for centuries, but the earliest patent was awarded to the Prussian inventor Hermann Hammersfar in the US in 1880. Mass production of glass strands was accidentally discovered in 1932, when Games Slater, a researcher at glass manufacturer Owens, Illinois, directed a jet of compressed air at a stream of molten glass, producing the fibers. Originally, fiberglass was a glass wool, with fibers entrapping a great deal of gas, making it useful as an insulator, especially at high temperatures. Fiberglass was of particular interest to the aviation industry. During World War II, fiberglass was developed as a replacement for the molded plywood used in aircraft radomes. Its first main civilian application was for the building of boats and sports car bodies, where it gained acceptance in the 1950s. 